in and the Lake Charles Harbor District is now a top 10 port in the nation for cargo. Morgan Babineau spoke with one man who has been watching the port grow since he was 16 years old. This energy renaissance started with us. Uh, we were able to send renders to people showing them what could happen here. And then now we're taking photos and saying it's actually here. Captain Brett Palmer has been working for the Port of Lake Charles since he was just 16 years old. For the last 32 years, he has been with the Lake Charles Pilots. And for Southwest Louisiana as a whole to be at this at this mark where we are today, I mean, when Ricky starts talking about, you know, we're the 10th largest port in the country, think about those other ports that there's 56 major ports in the United States. We rank number 10. Lake Charles beat out the Port of Los Angeles to crack the top 10. It is one of four Louisiana ports on the list put out by Waterborne Commerce. They rank ports based upon overall tonnage. Uh, we reported a 34% increase in domestic tonnage, a 32% increase in foreign tonnage, with an overall average of about 33%. Marine cargo activity along the Calcasieu Ship Channel has a $39 billion total economic value to the U.S. economy. 29.9 billion of it in Louisiana, according to a 2021 economic study. About 12 billion of that value is in Calcasieu and Cameron parishes. No other top 50 port uh, reported such significant increases in tonnage over that same time period. We're working on a lot of other projects that's going to change the face of Lake Charles. And by 2027, we're going to see a lot more coming to, the, uh, to this general area. As the port grows, Captain Palmer says he looks forward to meeting the next generation of workers just like him. Be patient. You've got to study hard. You've got to work hard. And, uh, and anybody can be in my position that, that has that dream to do it. In Lake Charles, Morgan Babineau, 7 News. Port Director Richard Self says they've also experienced exponential growth in lumber imports. Time now for your first alert weather forecast. 